giving, the innate virtue. Pleased to meet you, gentlemen and ladies. Please allow me to introduce myself as today's speaker. I, Cadet Kawi John Mark Lister, is about to begin his short speech to remember a value that our national hero, Jose Rizal, wants us to practice or acknowledge. As his innate gift so that we can be the best people for our country as well as for our fellow Filipinos. To begin with, please give me your listening ear and your every open heart. It was Rizal who inspired me to emphasize the natural generosity of every Filipino, mm -hmm. and I took my cue from him. To start, the fact that my parents could just give my brother the same amount of meals as I received as a child has always puzzled me, and I've always wondered why I had to do this as the oldest child in order to satisfy my brother's needs or cravings. In my teenage years, I transform into a sibling who begs for a larger portion of food than his brother and has the audacity to demand it from him when I finish my meal first. Also, we had a quarter in junior year where our professor talked about how generous our national hero is. Later, I was too enlightened and reflected too much going back when I was younger. I recall him, my professor in junior high, saying that giving is a virtue and that Rizal was always frugal in his lifestyle including skipping meals to pay your rent and missing out on outings so that he could complete his medical training. Even though he won the lottery, he used his winnings in the Pitan to fund the construction of water and the electricity infrastructure as well as a school where he taught and provided free medical care to students. And by the time I got to college, I realized that life is good to us when we realize things like appreciating the gestures people make towards us. In other words, I think I was selfish back then because we are not privileged and cannot afford to have leisure snacks when other children and siblings can. But Rizal's impact on me and hopefully in others remains despite the real-life struggles. Children on our streets often say, Thank you, when I cross their path. But I always think, What about that, kids? If that's the case, I can still remember their giggles as they said, Thank you, Kya Dudung. Every time you came home from school, you gave us a treat. And they always, and I was like, Oh, really? It's been years since I did that, but I say, really? I did that every day, deep inside me. For the first time in many years, I realized that my habitual giving was not an act of responsibility, but rather as an act of service to the children and even adults who might have experienced being unprivileged to have something. This is incredible and flattering to me because I did it so many times and yet I insist that I did not just because I forget about it and act like it's natural on me. Also, I was Susan to speak when my brother insists on thanking me for it and sounds like your generous nature means that I won't hesitate to give you the larger portion of my food. You, however, only notice the times you asked for it and didn't take into account the number of times you've shown that generosity. And I was like in total silence when while smiling deep within me. In that moment, I was aware of Rizal's influence on me because of people's words and actions, and I didn't intend to forget about it. That was unexpected to say the least. He's sub he thinks he is stubborn and self-centered, but he isn't, in fact, a child. Like Rizal, he is a natural giver, and he is me. With that, I conclude that not so long, short speech, with that hope of all Filipinos have the heart to let their generous side prevail in this competitive world as an advocacy by Josua Rizal. Thanks for listening and once again, there's virtue in giving.